Hi, second grade mathematicians. Today we're going to do an activity that is one of three pages. The topic of this activity is hundreds of pencils and stickers. We're going to write an equation and use stickers to represent each problem. Use equations to show how you solve the problems. Mrs. Ms. Jones has 125 pencils in her desk. She found 137 pencils in the classroom closet. How many pencils does she have in all? Well, it seems to me like she has a lot of pencils. So let's go ahead and draw this out. We know that 100 can be represented by a flat. We know that 20 can be represented with two rods. And we know that five can be represented with five units or five cubes. So we have 125. And she's going to add 137 to that. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, nobody has 137 pencils in their classroom closet. And the answer is, yes, they do. When I moved from third grade to fourth grade, I opened up the closet in my fourth grade classroom and there were thousands of pens and pencils. It was crazy. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So how many pencils does she have in all? So I know that this is 100 and this is 20 and this is five. And I know that this is 100 and this is 30 and this is seven. So there's lots of ways to start this problem. I'm going to just add my hundreds first. I think that will be easy for me to do. So 100 plus 100 equals 200. Oops, sorry. And then 20 plus 30 equals 50. So 200 plus 50. And then last I have 5 plus 7. And I know that 5 plus 7 is 12 because I know that five plus five is 10 and seven is two more than five. So now I'm gonna add these all together. So I know I'm gonna have 200 and then 50 plus 12 is 62. So my answer is 262 pencils. There are lots of different ways to solve this problem. So if you used a different way and got the same answer, that's what mathematicians do. They use lots of different strategies. All right, the art teacher, let's see how many pencils the art teacher has. Do you think the art teacher is going to have more or less pencils than Miss Jones? I'm seeing some big numbers here. The art teacher needs some green and blue pencils for an all school art project. She needs 258 green pencils and 266 blue pencils. How many pencils does she need? And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my gosh, that's so many pencils. I'm never gonna be able to figure this out. Yes, you will. Here we go. So 200 and then 550. So I need 50 um, rods or tens. One, two, three, four, five, good. And then eight. And then we're going to add, oop, oop, yikes, plus 200. Oh, that didn't turn out how I wanted it to. Six, and then we're going to do another six. Okay. Oh, my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I know that 200 plus 200 equals 400. And then I know that 50 plus 60 equals 110. And if I didn't know that, I could do this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. 
Okay, so if you need to use your drawings, use them because that's what mathematicians do. And then eight plus six, hmm, 14, right? Because if I have eight here, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Great. Okay, so now I need to add all of these together. Let's say you're feeling like, oh my gosh, this is going to be really tough. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. So let's say that you're feeling confident about the 400. For 110, we could draw out what 14 looks like. Oops. What am I doing? Okay, so I know that 110 plus, plus 10 is 120, and then four ones. So this is 124, and then I could even draw that out if I was feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do this. 120, I hope this isn't confusing some of you. There's lots of different ways to solve this. So I know that this is 400, right? And then this is 124, 124. So 400, 500, 510, 520, 524. Okay, so as you can tell, there's lots of different ways to solve it. Um, use your strategies, draw it out, break it apart, do what you gotta do. And then when you go to the next page, you're gonna have more practice with the same thing. Is this the correct? Yep, this is the correct page. So you're gonna be combining stickers again. Um, and then the same thing for the next page, 543 and 540. 44. We're still combining stickers. We still want you to break apart the numbers to show the equation. So for example, I'm going to draw 258 stickers, like 200. You know how to do this, so I'm not going to keep showing you. And then for the equation, 200 plus 50 plus 8. You catch my drift? You remember how to do this, right? All right, mathematicians, off you go.